Huh. It spins. Oh, so it starts with R. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? I'm just exploring, looking for salvage. Hmm, and you just happen to guess the password to the secret door. Right. It's clear you're not with the Institute. But who told you how to contact us? I helped Carl out of a jam. He knows a guy who knows a guy, and they hooked me up with a lead. We'll look into that. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is it? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This lady is kind of a big deal out there. Sounds like I have a stalker. It's not like that. A lot of people know about you. You've left a trail of destruction in your wake. Gone places no sane person would go alone. So you're vouching for her? Yes, trust me. She's someone we want on our side. That changes things. I don't know what, if anything, you've heard out there about us. So, let's start with the basics. You know what a synth is, right? A synth? What's that? They are synthetic humans created by the Institute. So close to real people that the distinction is meaningless. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Why does the Institute treat them that way? They're playing God, tinkering with things they don't fully understand. From that lofty vantage, it's easy to deny their creation's very humanity. Aren't synths just machines? The machines are tools. They started that way. But if it's impossible to tell a single difference between a synth and a human, they must be treated the same. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? No, probably not. No shame in that. Every person needs to know what they're willing to die for. It might be best if you kept your distance from us. Not for our sake, but for yours. The Institute wouldn't hesitate to torture and kill you for what you know. Deacon can show you out. Hey there. So you answered the big question and took a pass. Des is a hardliner, a live and die for the cause kind of lady. But the truth isn't so cut and dry. Listen, are you interested in the railroad? Learning more? Maybe joining? I thought your boss turned me away. It's complicated. Would Des like every Tom, Dick, and Harriet to be here only to help synths? Yes, absolutely. But we live in the real world. And here, we can't turn down help. We need every able body we can get. 
So, you're interested? Sure, I'm interested. All right, good. Let's see how much common ground we got. I get you don't want to take a bullet for a sin, but you willing to brave some danger to stop the Institute and their nefarious schemes? <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I haven't made up my mind yet. Well, let me break it down for you. Every one of us believes in synths getting a fair chance, but some agents aren't really risking their necks for that. They put their asses on the line to hurt the Institute, and the railroad's all right with that. And Desdemona is really okay with that. Would Des like every Tom, Dick, and Harriet to be here only to help synths? Yes, absolutely, but we live in the real world. And there, we can't turn down help. We need every able body we can get. Sales pitch over. If you want to walk away, here's your chance. You made some good points. Tell me more. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Sign me up, then. Perfecto. Let's meet up with the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. 